Hello. Hello and welcome to Sobriety Sundays episode <laughs> two. All right. So um, on last episode, we spoke about manifestation and we basically have given you some housekeeping on how you can practice manifestation. And we did our manifestation and the box is full. The box is full. I'm excited. And um, to those of you who shared, you know, your processes of meditation, how you basically adapted it to su be suitable to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing that. For those who haven't shared yet, let us know how you've adapted the meditation process yeah. to yourself. And yeah, we'd really like to hear more from you guys. And I mean, just keep us in touch with the experience, you know, your shorter term goals, when those kind of become realized. Let us know, you know, we'd be excited. And, and I think journey. it's important also to remember with the box, you can always take things out and add things. There's mm -hmm. no dream that has to be permanent or forever. Yeah. And there's no problem with adding things throughout the year as you remember things or Tweet gain things, things that you'd well. like to have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just, I mean, the understanding of knowing that we're not one being the entire yeah. time we evolve and we change and so just give yourself that space and allow yourself those moments so today we're focusing on visualization uh, another form of mindfulness and um, at the end we're going to have a young session with me where i'll just walk you through the color breathing that we'll be doing so stick around for that and find yourself a quiet and safe space just so that when that meditation kicks in you can just join us in that yeah so today uh, we're working on visualization um, visualization is a form of meditation where its origins are still unclear but we do see it showing up in a lot of devotions and what it actually is is basically putting yourself in a mental space where you focus on a symbol a color a thing a feeling an emotion a person and you basically hold that feeling emotion symbol so close to yourself to a point where it feels like it's a part of your reality to yeah. a point where it feels like it's something that is actually in existence or something that is a part of your life yeah so i want to say it's also a branch of manifestation you know but in in this one it's more of a, a like being within technique. yourself mm. and being within your experience so it's a mindfulness technique and just overall it boosts your emotional physical spiritual transformation so it's like a very transformative technique and i think uh you guys are gonna enjoy this yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i want to read today's micro poem because poems are life and poem is everything so today's so. micro poem basically encapsulates the power of visualization and it basically uh encapsulates the feelings that it, you know mm. visualization can bring into your life like, yeah, so micro poem episode two <laughs> the mind possesses a magic that cannot be summoned by a wand hold a photograph of a wave in your mind and soon you will see the ocean. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I did mention earlier that visualization is seen in many different devotions. Yeah. Like we've seen it with the Taoists. And what the Taoists basically believe is that you are a microcosm of a divinity. So basically you're a small little photograph that encapsulates the entire yeah, universe. It's such a powerful body. image too, it right? Is. It's a powerful image. It's basically every single one of us being an entire encapsulation of the universe and mm -hmm. carrying that much power with us mm -hmm. and that each part of you as well is just a connection to the divine mm -hmm. and with devotees of shiva they see they see the divine as a spiral of energy within themselves and so during meditation they'll have an experience where they feel this the spiral and this this ball of energy within themselves and that's just their connection to the divine mm. and i think that ties in beautifully with our episode today with color breathing you know mm. experiencing color and associating meaning and feeling to color and just having that be in your body and in your space mm. we also have our hindu people who also um practice this form of meditation mm. and the hindu people basically use visualization as a connection to their divinity mm. so it's basically like a line between themselves and what is higher than themselves yes. so it's a form of unity and, and sorry what's what's testament to how powerful visualization is it's just like seeing it in so many spaces where people want to connect with the divine energy you know mm. visualization has been used for years and years and years and i'm sure it's something we all sort of do but didn't Low know key. we were doing <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually beautiful to be um what's the word oh yeah no, when you're doing it now and you're doing it with purpose. I don't know. Yeah, deliberate. It, deliberate. Yes. It's beautiful to do visualization <laughs> deliberately because you actually get to experience those emotions deliberately, mm -hmm. you know, instead of kind of doing it in person. Yeah, so um, as we said, it's um, mixing either a symbol or a connection with a God or a divine power or 
feeling. emotional feeling you know mm. and today that's what we're going to be focusing on and that's like emotional transformation we did mention that there's also physical spiritual and whatnot we'll be walking through those with you but today we're just going to focus on our emotions and just getting ourselves in a better space within so uh visualization actually has multiple benefits yeah and one of these benefits which is actually quite close to me is that it improves your self-image yeah and i think that is a beautiful thing it really puts yourself your mind in a space where you understand that you really are brought for a higher purpose you are. that you really are more powerful than what you believe yourself to be so that's one of the benefits that really it hits home and for me i think my favorite will always be creativity so um creativity of any sort don't think that this is like put aside for just artists you know creativity of any sort just like unleashing yourself and imagining and experiencing and just being wild with your thoughts this is just such a a, a beautiful way to just to see the world through a different lens yeah. You know? And if you are an artist, it's good to practice visualization before you go into your writing session, yes. before you go into your painting session. It really puts your mind in a more fluid state and it puts you in a more creative and open space, you know, and willing to express yourself state. So I think it's important it to use just before you go into anything creative. Yeah. It also improves your sleep. Now, we love our sleep and we love a good night's rest <laughs> so it'll help you improve your sleep it'll help you be an overall more relaxed person it will release the tension in your body so i think uh, a lot of us carry a lot of tension in our shoulders mm. and in our heads so it will help you alleviate a lot of those symptoms yeah and it's just a beautiful thing for overall wellness mm. so physical mental spiritual all these are, are tied together and just being overall while in your space in your body in your mind this is just a beautiful way to do that so yeah. yeah so as we mentioned right at the beginning of the episode for money at the end of this episode we'll be getting you into a little visualization method which is called color breathing yes. so make sure you're in a nice quiet space that you can actually enjoy this meditation with her it'll be around two minutes and you can go through it with her so like basically what color breathing is is you using color and associating with mm. a specific feeling associating it with a specific person associating it with a specific goal and you know incorporating that into your meditation so we're going to just give you a step-by-step of how to incorporate color breathing into your meditation and then yeah we'll go through it later with you guys and because this week's color breathing has housekeeping as you know housekeeping is finding a way to take out all the negative and the trash and bringing in the new and the fresh yes. we'll give you some housekeeping today so our color breathing for today will be associated with an emotion so we're going to associate uh, an emotion to our color. Uh, pick a color that you love. Pick a color that represents something to you or reminds you of something or has you feeling nostalgic. Mm. And first step, you're going to be sitting in a space by yourself with your body. You can choose someone that you feel comfortable with. You can do this by yourself. You can do it lying down, sitting up. It's up to you as long as you're comfortable and your space you're comfortable in <laughs> space <laughs> so that's the first step of this and then step two is to obviously close your eyes um i think with a lot of meditations you find that they ask you to close your eyes first so that you can put yourself in an alternate universe than mm -hmm. what you're really in front of uh step three is to begin to breathe slowly mm -hmm. so you're going to put yourself in a very relaxed state and begin to breathe very slowly and make sure you inhale from your belly make sure you mm, breathe it's from important your belly. to know the correct way of breathing when you breathe from your chest your chest can get very tight and, and it can feel constricted and heavy you're supposed to breathe from your stomach so when you breathe in actually have your hands on your stomach and feel your stomach expand you know as the mm. oxygen comes in and as you release feel it it's what's up it's not it's that also helps you get um a lot more air in and yeah. it helps you get bigger breaths in so make sure you're breathing from this baby yeah yeah and then that meditation once you're in a comfortable space and you have a flow with breathing that's when you're going to start beginning focusing on your color you can see your color externally right whether you're going to think of a post box or a wall that's that's your color you're going to begin focusing on your color and your color alone once your color starts becoming familiar in your space, you let that color into you. With me personally, yellow is my favorite color. She, and it'll she always took be the that color from me. It's that fine. That's my color. <laughs> orange is your color, girl. Let's no, focus. orange is my favorite <laughs> color, but yellow is my color, color. Yellow for me is the sun. Yellow is life. Yeah. Yellow is eternal. So that and is yellow is color. sunflowers. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yellow is always a color I will pick when it comes to color breathing because it makes me feel a lot lighter. It makes me feel a lot more stress free. So let us know which color you're picking and let us know why you choose that color and what you associate with that color would yes. really actually like to whether it's like a memory or a feeling or whatever just yeah. just tell us why you chose that color we'd be interested to know yeah and then the next two steps are obviously 
the color coming mm. into your life right so you get to a point once you've you know gotten your breathing on a certain like trajectory and mm -hmm. you feel like you've gotten your flow you begin to inhale a specific color so if you've chosen yellow as you're sitting there quietly when you inhale you imagine that the air around you you imagine that the air that you're inhaling is yellow you see the yellow traveling through your body into your lungs you see it going down into your body and you see the yellow being exhaled and once you open your mouth or once you're breathing out you know see the yellow coming out of your body you know see it going into the space around you yeah so you can also have the the vision of the color actually just washing over you and as it washes over you feel the emotion that you have assigned to this whether it's love whether it's relaxation feel whether it's success whatever it mm. is feel it as it comes out of you, feel it, wash over you. And this is just like a process that you're gonna keep going through. You can take 10 minute breathers in between each and every um in exhale. So as soon as you exhale, take a little 10 second second. Second. Man. I said minute, that's Ooh. crazy. <laughs> take your 10 second breather and then get back into it. Yeah, so as Fumani had mentioned, your housekeeping for this week would be reassigning a color to an emotion, reassigning a color to a goal. So once you've picked this color that you're breathing in and out, carry that color with you throughout the day. Whenever you spot, you know, yellow, a yellow jacket, whenever you spot a yellow sneaker, refill that emotion remind yourself of that emotion and remind yourself of the importance of that emotion throughout the day and let us know how this housekeeping goes carry yeah. it with you for the week. and how often you saw the color on your first day and how it made you feel yeah, yeah. i think we'd really love to hear that so i'll be carrying yellow with me for the week going and i'll let you know in the next episode <laughs> how uh, it was carrying this color with me and how i felt yeah. and um if i felt any benefits of it as well you mm. know yeah all right, so now we're going to step into the little two-minute meditation I'm going to have with you. I'm just going to explain the space that I'm in, the color that I've chose, and just walk you through how I'm feeling and mm -hmm. how things are going. You're welcome to do this with me. And this is Sobriety Sunday's episode two. I want to read the micro <laughs> poem again because like Please I do. say, poems are life. They are. <laughs> okay, so our episode two poem goes, The mind possesses a magic that cannot be summoned by a wand. Hold a photograph of a wave in your mind, and soon you will see the ocean. Ah, beautiful. Be right. This would be right. Whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Stick around for the little meditation that I'm going to have with you guys. And yeah, see you on episode three. Yes, I'm buying out. That's it for me. Thank you so much for sharing with us and continue to share with us. All right. Bye. The space I've chosen to be in is my bedroom. Uh, my bedroom is such a safe space. I have so many positive quotes and things on the walls. I have my dreams in a box that lives in my bedroom. And I've got candles. Candles for me have always been a representative of light and connection. And so I always have a candle in my space. And then incense is just a beautiful... It, it feels like it's refining and cleaning the air. And so I chose that. And then plants always for me represent life. So I love to have plants in a space where I'm meditating and where I'm practicing any type of mindfulness. Um, and so like Mfuma and I had spoken about earlier, the color that I chose was yellow and yellow for me always symbolizes light and following beauty and following the good things in life and just, just allowing yourself to be in a space where you've discarded of what isn't right per se and just following light, chasing light and sunflowers are like my favorite thing in the universe. I genuinely believe like some way I'm the goddess of sunflowers and so yellow and me are just, so yellow is my color. The space that I'm in is safe. The way I'm sitting is comfortable. I'm sitting with my back straight. Make sure that your back is straight so that you can get those breaths in. The first thing I'll be focusing on is a yellow tree. And so right now I'm sitting in my space and I'm seeing the tree. I'm focused on this. I can see it. And then I begin my breathing. You can put your hands on your stomach just to feel as you inhale. Make sure you take the breaths as deeply as possible. Feel that air in your body. Feel that air nurturing you. And now I introduce my color. My color is emanating from the candle that is sitting in front of me and I'm taking that in as I breathe. As I let it out, I see the color wash over me. It has turned liquid as it washes over me. And it's washing me over in the feeling of happiness. That is the feeling I've assigned to my color.
Don't forget that in between each 10 second breath after you've had it wash over you, you're allowed to sit with that feeling and just have 10 seconds for yourself where you just deeply breathe in before you go through the next cycle. And you can continue this for like two minutes for five minutes and like you open your eyes after just two minutes and like things just feel brighter and lighter and i feel a lot happier than i did you know um uh, just 10 seconds ago so thank you so much for sitting in this with me i hope you enjoy it uh don't forget to let us know what your color is um how you felt after the meditation as well and yeah subscribe to our channel it's your warrior <laughs>